Hi everyone, I've chosen my image, which is a nice size image. Um, and what I've done, just just to see how I want the uh, the picture to look, um, I've used some stamps. Um, and I've stamped where I want my flowers to be, because they are going to be hand-painted. And um, pop my picture on, might have it at an angle, not quite sure. And I like that arrangement. So that's one way you can do it. You can stamp it on a piece of paper to get the look you want. And then when you're, trying, when you're doing it back onto your board, um, you're, getting, you're getting it right, basically. How you want it to look. So what I'm going to do at the moment is just pop my... Uh, where are we? I'll pop my picture there so I don't forget. That's the sort of image that I'm going to do. But the first thing we have to do when I move these out of the way, we have to do the background. And I'm going to enjoy this because it's a nice big background to work with. Okay? So I'm just moving bits out of the way. Now I'm just going to tell you the materials you're going to need. For the whole project, you're going to need some PVA glue watered down. Now I, this one is half and half. If I'm sticking pictures on, I will use ha um, two parts glue, one part water. But if I just want to do a coat of something over, I will do half and half. I am going to use maybe... Hopefully, some stickles. Uh, you're going to need the perfect medium because I'm going to go... Oh, well, I don't know if I am going to. I've put it out, but I might go over the whole thing with the PVA glue. I've chosen my colours. Uh, this is for the background. Mustard seed, wild honey, scattered straw and walnut stain. A selection of stamps. I've chosen the paint I'm going to use. Uh, just an artist acrylic paint in a lime green. The folk art acrylic paint... Uh, sunny yellow, the Americana primary uh, red of deco art, and then the folk art um, hunter, hunter green. So they're the colours. I will be using white, of course. You're going to need a selection of brushes. Flat ones, round ones. I'm not giving numbers out. I don't go by number. I go by what I see on the, on the bristles. You're going to need some stays on ink. You may need some tools, so I've got those out. Some sponges, got those out. White acrylic paint. I have got the crackle medium out. Obviously, your picture. Some bottled water, which I'm, I'm going to top up as well. I mean, there should be enough in there anyway. Uh, and maybe some smaller sponges. And the board you're going to work on. I have got some uh, flowers out as well, just in case I want to add a few 3D ones, okay? And therefore you will need the hot glue gun, which I shall now pop in, <laughs> pop on should I say. And then like I say, I do have my heat tool, which you're going to need as well. <clears throat> and a cloth, mine's dirty. <laughs> so, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat... Uh, the background and the background I'm just using an emulsion type paint okay let's choose a biggish brush because we are doing a large area if I can get this to work so it's just giving it a quick lick of paint You don't have to prime it. You've seen me where I haven't. I don't follow any rules. There's no rules in crafting to me. Now, when I need to work closely, I will lower the camera down. But for now, I'm just letting you see the whole process. I'm not worrying about the outer edge because I'm going to go over that felt tip pen in black. Okay, so that's all I'm doing to that. It's just to give it a quick coat. It's not quite dry, but I'm not bothered about that. What I'm going to do first is I'm... Oops, I was going to. Is I'm going to use the mustard seed. And all I'm going to do is just dab it on, to be honest. All over. That's all I'm going to do. Like that. Now 
I'm also going to use some of the wild honey and then for that I'm just going to the scattered straw We may need to build this up in uh, layers, but that's fine. And then I'm going to use some water. And you can see, I've not done anything really to it, apart from spray it. Uh, sorry, um, layer it with paint, ink. Love that. Just going to let them all fuse together. Just have to wait a while. And then I'm just get a bit of tissue. And I'm just, it's just a little bit of uh, the, because we're going to build this up. Okay, just take a little bit off. And now I'm going to dry it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more of the paint on. And I'm going to find my brush. Okay. It's just to layer it. And watch what happens with the colour. See the colours running into it? It picks up the colour <clears throat> or colours. I say and eventually you build up what you want it to look like I might have to do this video in more than two at uh, one part because um, it is going to be I am hand painting it does take time Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the walnut stain and I'm just going to dab it along. I do want quite a bit around the edge. This is a vintage picture, or plaque should I say. Like that. Now you can still see all the yellow in that and it will all still come through. What I am going to do is just add a touch more of the yellow. and the orange okay and again take the water take that off whatever that is the lines will uh, you know kind of like disappear but I'm going to do that just to get rid of those lines. Like that. Just let that fuse a bit. That's all I'm doing. Just to lift some of it off. I'm just going to try something else as well. Uh, if you know me, um, I do have some re-inkers. This is the one I'm after. So therefore, what I'm going to do is just add a touch of the walnut stain in the re-inker. Now, this is really, really concentrated. So I'm just going to do that because I don't want to put the pad back on it. Running out of water. Now, now I've got that. <laughs> is where I'm going to get filthy, right? And just, yeah, it's darkened it. But I haven't finished yet. It won't be as dark as this. What I want is to try and get the 
the age, the really, really aged look. Like that. And while that's, look at me. <laughs> while that's like that, what I'm going to do again is go back in with some of this uh, white paint. See how it's got that wood grain effect. To wipe my hands before I put them back in the tub. Like that. You could do this with a brush. You do not have to do it with your hand. I can still see the orange and yellow coming through. So that's great. Okay. And dry my hands off. Where's my where did I put my tissue? I'm just gonna lift some of that off. <clears throat> well, that's better. That's the colour I'm after. And it's just a matter of playing around with what you like, with what you want. That's what I want. That wood grainy effect. Okay. So what I have to do now is to completely dry that. As you can see now, it is cracking, it's doing what I want it to do. I'm not quite happy with it, I want to put some more on. And this time I'm just going to use a brush because I just want it in more in a certain area. I might go over some a little bit because you can do, you don't have to stick to... different areas just because you've done one you can go over it and thicken it up a little bit So I'm sorry if this is going to be a very long <laughs> type of video, but uh, you want to see things done stage by stage, so therefore I have to... Um, it's picking up that colour up now. Just see what effect I get this time. Beautiful cracking on this. Okay, now what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, soak that. So I'm just going to go back with the ink pad and just go over that. Like that. Okay, some more water. So it's, this will now sink into the crevices. Oh, come on, water bottle. Okay, and I am going to take my uh, sponger and just sponge that in. Okay, so I'll just dry that a little bit. Yeah, I love that edge. Look, I'm not sure if you can see that. 
<coughs> I'm just going to pop a little bit more on. As you can see, none of it's taking long to dry or anything like that. Okay, let's have a good look. Right. Still not quite happy with it. But never mind. This is the point. It's all building up. Okay, that's what it's all about. You build it up. Now, oh, where's my sponge gone? And you can see the crackling through it. There's why I'm not bothered about it whatsoever. Yeah. And again, to dry that off a little bit. I'm still not quite happy with the colour. And I'm sorry if it's taking so long, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm really fussy. <laughs> I, I like the colours to be a certain, you know, way. Let that fuse in a bit. Oh, the texture underneath the fingers is fabulous. And this is the best part about it, is being able to play with what you've got. Now I do like that. Yes, that's more me. Right, I've just gone over the edge again. Uh, using the walnut stain. To get the effect, and I like that. That, to me, looks like old wood. Uh, and that's what I was after, so, uh, you know, I have to carry on until I'm, I'm happy with it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the flowers and, and whatnot on it. So the first one I'm going to start with is the swirl. No, I'm not. <laughs> the big leaf. Now I know these leaves aren't the same leaves for the poppy. That's not bothers me. It doesn't bother me at all. It's the leaf I want. And it isn't about what goes with what. It's about what you want. So all I'm going to do is take the leaf, use these stays on, the black stays on. Okay. Uh, and then we're just going to go off slightly the edge. I only need the basic shape of a leaf. Okay. So I'm just following what I've got on my picture. Put one there. Fine. Now, part of one there. Yep, it's fine. Always take some off your page. It makes it look more realistic. And I'm going to have one more. Then I think like that. That's fine. I'm not bothered about that <coughs> whatsoever. Then what I'm going to do is take the poppy, the large poppy. Um, and remember, my picture, where's my picture, is going to go there. So what I'm going to do is put it over the stat, uh, over the leaf. I get that, yeah. I'm going to need one here to go. I'm actually going to do it over the picture, would you believe? Yeah. And I'm going to have one just there. Like that. Yep, happy with that. I'm happy. <laughs> Don't 
don't know. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Um, I might just put a poppy there. Actually, yeah, that'll do. And then what I've got, I've got some leaves, which I'm gonna pop there. Oh, wrong way around, silly old. Come on, woman. Never mind. We can paint that out. But it doesn't matter anyway. Um, I'm going to pop one. That's it. That way. Like that. And one coming from that. Okay. I'm going to have one there as well. I'm also going to have one on this side. I'm going to have one there. And then I've got a smaller leaf. Let me put that one here as well. I'm just filming. Like that. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to leave that like that, actually. I might just do one more there, like it's coming off the page. Yeah. And then what I do have is half a poppy. Well, it's like the closed poppy. I do want to put one of these in somewhere. So I'm going to put that right there I have plenty of room to put something else on there if I want plenty of room and I'm also going to put one right there like that that's fine I'm set with that and uh, that's going to be my painting so right now I'm just going to take that off and uh, I'm going to start and paint and what you do, well, what I do, which is um, the way I find it easy, I'm going to pop these away. Yeah, we've got that. I might put some of those on later. I'm not sure. I've got a smaller one that I might want to add. And I haven't done the swirls anyway yet. But <coughs> what I do and tend to do is to do the base coat. So I'm just going to get my... Uh, wrong brush <laughs> you need a kind of pointed brush I'm just going to wet mine first and um, to do the base colours that's how I do them well I change my mind constantly so um, it depends what I'm doing at the time so I will do this until I can uh, until it runs out and um, just get this put a non-stick paper with a bit of red and uh, First of all, I'm just going to colour in some of the poppy. So this is the base coat. I'm doing and it's just to define where everything's going to be and then you can work on each one as and when you need to or want to I know a lot of painters are going to be sat there going oh my god she's doing it wrong what's that woman doing well you see Go and have a look at my father's paintings that I've put up on YouTube.
My father painted old masters. And he did the base coat first. And in some of them, you can't tell the difference between the original and his. So you can see what I'm doing now. So I'm going to stop the camera and then I will come back when I've got the base coat done. Now, as you can see, I have started to fill it in. I did the base coat and I've just started to do the leaves and uh, just filling it in where I want. I don't go by any rule that you have to do this, that and the other first at all. Never have, never will. And uh, <coughs> sorry, but I don't. So I, and I just build up and build up and build up. So, so far we do have that. Hope you can see. Now what I'm going to do is just basically go over what I've got.
they don't have to be perfect whatsoever. I'm reversing this one right now. Like that. Doesn't matter about the dark bit underneath um, at all. Just take that out like that. Looks like there's one there. Right, um, and so all I'm going to do now is um, put a little bit more highlighting in the flower itself. And for that I do need um, a kind of smaller brush. So I'm going to wet the bristles first. Um, <clears throat> and then I have some white and red mixed. Uh, and what you've got to remember is, where's the highlight? Okay, so mine's going to be... Hang on, come on white. Hi everyone, as you can see I have now finished my plaque and I am absolutely thrilled to death with it. I did use the image um, and I've painted over the image with the flowers. Um, I, once I put it on, I did the, paint, uh, the picture with the flowers and leaves first and then I put the picture on and then I over painted what I'd already done. And I, I just love the way it looks old, it's got the crackling effect in it. Um, even the flowers look old and the way that that's done is because when I put my last layer of the um, embossing it, not embossing ink, sorry, um, the walnut stain, you know when I've shown you the technique before, when you brush it with PVA glue, it makes that aged look. So it actually enhanced that, but then as it brushed across, um, it caught the flowers and leaves as well and so aged it even more. So I'm absolutely thrilled. You do, however, have to be careful because you can go too much uh, and you'll end up with it all over the face and things like that. But I love it. I love everything about it. I've not put no real highlights in it whatsoever. I don't want that. I just love that. 
So I'm just going to show you a bit of close up here. And it hasn't taken me long to do. A couple of hours maybe. But then I haven't broken off from it either. I've just got on with it. And I did use the green stays on ink to do the swirls. I thought, oh, they're better than what I can hand paint. Because I, I, I can't see at the moment. But um, I don't think I've done bad to say that I am a bit blurred in vision at the moment. So, yeah, I'm thrilled. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. And it's all had a coat of PVA glue, 50-50, uh, of water and glue. And uh, I'm quite thrilled with that. I, um, yeah, <laughs> quite thrilled with it. Yeah, I am. And there's plenty of room here to put something on if I wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to. The only thing I may do now... No, I don't know. I was going to put... I have got some flowers that I was going to put out and put some 3D flowers on, but I'm not going to do that. Because what I'm trying to get back to is um, original handwork. And uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that you will agree this is just as good as any anything out of a packet. And wouldn't that look fantastic on a book or a journal um, or a, a, you know, or made into a, um, a book, have it on a front cover or something like that. But you could do this in smaller, smaller version. I, I would absolutely be thrilled to death to receive something like that that's hand painted. I really would. But doing it, following my instructions, step by step, I'm sure you can achieve something very similar. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Enjoy and bye-bye for now.